Uh, keep in mind, I'm no expert. I just get the job done. Do everything at your own risk. Don't quote me as an expert. That is my disclaimer. So when I took the uh, clip off of the old sensor, I ended up breaking it. Now I'm gonna have to fix that. Let's get going. So currently that's where I'm at. The new sensor is bolted in, it's ready to go, but I need to replace the bracket right here because it did break in the process coming off so it doesn't clip on anymore. So I'm gonna show you how to replace this. But the first thing we need to do is disconnect the battery. So let's go do that. So first I'm gonna start with preparation of the replacement bracket. So I got some of these heat seal terminal wire connectors from Lowe's and I'm just going to go ahead and prepare this before I even get under the car. So I got part of it already taken care of. I'm just gonna crimp them on there nice and tight. Just do a little double crimp just to make sure the wire is connected real well. There we go. And so that's not coming off. Get the second one ready. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing, crimp it down. Now I've already disconnected the battery under the car, but the replacement harness is ready to go. So let's go under the car and get it swapped out. All right, so here's the old harness. Got a little bit of electrical tape here holding the protective cover of the wire. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. Get better access to the, the full wire here. And I'm gonna go ahead and slide it out of that a little bit. So when I'm looking at the wires, there's not an easy way to tell which one's positive and which one's not. But if you look inside the old sensor, uh, the old sensor does have a marking that says positive or not positive on the inside. And so I know the positive is gonna be the top wire. So if I push it in, I know that this one's gotta be the positive on the top. And so really the only difference I see here, there's a really, there's like a thin blue line. So that's not gonna be the positive. So when I cut this, I just need to remember, thin blue line is not positive, solid green is positive. And then it should just be a matter of swapping it out to the new one. So I am gonna probably go ahead and crimp this down a little further because that's pretty long um, replacement there. So I'm not looking to take it that far up or have that much extra wire down here. So give me a second while I shorten this. Now I gotta say this Buddy Heater by Mr. Heater runs on a one pound propane tank if you want, but this thing kicks out some heat and it's on a low setting in my garage. So gosh, man, this thing's nice. So at this point, I'm just going to cut the wire, strip it down and then clip on the new ones and go from there. So here's the old broken bracket. You can see right here on the top in that section how I broke the clip, pulling it out. So if you remember, I said the one with the blue line is the non-positive, the other one's positive. So I just need to strip this wire a little bit. So you gotta twist them, make them nice and tight. And so now it's just a matter of hooking up the, the new one. So black wire will be positive. I use the old one, should match up perfectly, which it does. So just need to swap it in there. There's the first one, like a glove. All right, so the first one's crimped. Get the second one on, and one fit perfectly. I'm gonna crimp it on. There we go. So now it's crimped. So the next step is gonna be to uh, heat this uh, stuff so that it melts around the wire, making a good seal. So let me go get a lighter real quick. All right, for the last part here, it's just a matter of uh, melting the seal. Um, so just take it nice and slow. I'm gonna use a lighter. Uh, make sure you got nothing around that you could accidentally light. Then you just take your time. Don't go too fast. Just nice and slow. Moving back and forth on it. And you're just waiting for it to melt on there. So just kind of keep it moving. It'll get a good seal on there. As it shrinks onto the wire. And I will follow this up with some electrical tape. Just to make sure that I have a, a good seal on it. Now you could use a heat gun, probably is safer. But again, no, I have a disclaimer that I'm no pro here. Just melt it on there, nice and tight. 
and this will keep the, the water corroding the, the connection so and it looks like looks like I might be there so I just need a few minutes to cool and then I'll wrap it with some tape all right so now that it's had some time to cool off I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tape it up and get them a little more secure together and then I'll put the protective coating back over so I'm just going to go up and down with the tape here I'll probably take some tape up to the end of the fitting and then I should be good to go all right so the orange is a little too out there for the outside cover I'd prefer to have a black um, I couldn't find any electrical tape but I do have this black tape that's used for like drain tile and stuff so this will work great just need to cut some pieces because you can't tear it easily and just put these right on there and that'll definitely do the same thing as electrical tape and it's a little more inconspicuous than the orange tape and so one or two more pieces and i should be good here And then I think I'll put one more right here. All right, so that's it. The harness for the ABS speed sensor has been replaced. So now it's just a matter of connecting it back up and wrapping it up. So if you wanna see how I finish it up, just click back to the previous video and you can see how this all ends. If you like what I'm up to on this channel, make sure to subscribe. I do get things done properly. So this should be more than sufficient to work for what I needed to do. So. Other than that, Suburbia Dad out.